Are you still scratching your head about why politics is careening so out of control into extremism all across this country? Well, let me give you an analogy that, that will help explain why this is happening. Imagine you're sitting down, your first day of the new job at a, at a company, and the entry interview, whoever's conducting it, says to you, listen, this is you, this is your job. And yeah, our company has customers, we've got workers, we've got stakeholders, but in this job, you don't ever have to worry about them. No matter how bad a job you do serving our customers or our workers or our stakeholders, no matter how poor your performance when it comes to them, you will always keep your job. They can't do anything about it. You're not accountable to them. The only thing that, that you worry about when it comes to accountability are several groups on the outside that really care about what you do. Uh, if they're happy, you keep your job. If they're not happy, you lose your job. Nothing else matters. Of course, you'd ask, well, who are these groups? Group A, Group B, Group C, as I've called them. What do they want? And the person says back to you, well, they kind of want the opposite of what everyone here wants. First, they have viewpoints that none of, no one else agrees with. And secondly, they want a lot of the same dollars and other resources that these people want. And when they get them, it takes it away from these groups. But don't worry, because if they're happy, you're good. If they're not happy, you're not good. And if these people are unhappy because they're serving them, they can't do anything about it anyway. Of course, if this happened and many, all the employees had the same incentive system, it would be a disaster for the customers and stakeholders and workers and great for these groups, right? I've just described to you the motivations of a gerrymandered state house. Think of all this as the public, the voters, the broader public goods, and think of these as the groups that are right in the ear of these state houses, the extremists, the anti-abortion folks, the extreme gun law advocates, the financial interests looking for public dollars at the expense of the public so they can profit. In a world of gerrymandering, these folks, the state reps, are serving them, and they are in a system that just like this shows us, none of these groups of voters anywhere else can hold them accountable. And that's why everything careens to the extreme and dollars go towards the private. We have to put voters back in charge by ending gerrymandering or this will continue.